So, fries. From the gallus to the fries. Congratulations. We are so proud of you and happy for you. And you guys deserve this. Hey Gala fam, it's Rachel. And Rhea. And we're the Gala sisters. We're actually Irish twins. Yeah, which means we're 15 months apart or less. Pardon my voice. I have not had a voice for about the last 24 hours or so, so we're just gonna kind of go with the fact that I sound like a old smoker. It's okay, you'll get back to your old self soon enough. Meanwhile, it's so peaceful and quiet in here. Oh, shut up, I keep still talking. <laughs> Shane! I have to be a true sister. Yeah, okay. Just jokey. <laughs> this video is a video that we really have gone back and forth about doing it. We're a little nervous to do this video. This isn't a video that we have ever done anything like it before. You guys have all seen that we profiled Emily Fisher after her death. But in light of the... Andrew situation and as getting us Andrew Cuomo the Andrew Cuomo situation and everybody's so happy about this there's other news that's really happy that we debated telling the gala assembly about but we decided against it mm -mm. so today we are going to be congratulating uh, one of our favorite YouTube channels that we tune in every day to watch. They have daily vlogs. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, you absolutely should be. They will teach you so much and make you laugh. Make you laugh. And they teach you the power of positivity, which is something that we could all use. So, with that, we'll take a look. At the Fry Life's big news. <laughs> so the Fry Life has daily vlogs. They have been around for, I think, almost eight years now. Mm -hmm. They started daily vlogging when they lived in Scotland to keep up with their family. They vlogged all their Massachusetts lives, and now they're living in Durham, North Carolina. They moved there because, at the time, Mary was being followed by the lung and liver transplant team. Mm -hmm. at Duke. Yes, because Mary has cystic fibrosis. But, you know, uh, cystic fibrosis is not the death sentence that it once was. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, up until pretty recently, cystic fibrosis was a death sentence. A lot of people with CF, we call it CF, didn't live to graduate from high school. They don't didn't make long-term plans because they were lucky if they made it to 28 even 21 even but then a little miracle by the name of claire wineland walked in and claire wineland unfortunately is no longer with us no but she paved the way with her movie that she helped make called five feet apart her and justin baldoni very important person to a very important hero to myself and sarissa um came along and he shined the light on cystic fibrosis and and then Morgan Grindstaff over at Cystic One on YouTube. No, he's Morgan Solo now. I know. But he was Cystic One for a while. He also came into the limelight through his review of Five Feet Apart. Yes. And we have been with Morgan since his YouTube channel was very, very small. But this isn't really about Morgan. No. That's still important. There's also one called Steffi Lee, who is his real-life girlfriend. We will link all three of their channels down below. Mm -hmm. But Mary was dying. Basically, she couldn't breathe. She couldn't really do much of anything. No. And then a miracle came around, and she was um, given this, it was a miracle drug at the time. It was just called Vertex. Vertex makes a drug, and she was in compassionate use. And I remember the day that Trikapta made it to the market. 
I cried so hard because every morning when I would get up, I would check Instagram or Facebook to see if Mary Fry was still alive. And in our Eastern Star chapter, back when I was around and we would go, there was always a segment when you could say what you were thankful for or what type of news you had. And Rhea and I both shared in tears about Trikafta and they had no idea what we were talking about. They were like, what? No. Trikafta started out um, as Kaleidico. From Kaleidico, it went to or Kaleidico or Cambi Simdeco Trikafta. Yes. I always forget. Um, and a lot of people were not eligible for the ones before, before uh, Trikafta. To date, 10% of all cystic fibrosis patients are not eligible for Trikafta. And we would like to announce, Mary Fry, we are going to try to help you. Mm -hmm. Come to us. We are activists. That is what we do on this channel. This is kind of potentially groundbreaking. And it's crazy to think that the pill that I'm about to take, I mean, start taking and continue potentially taking for the rest of my life, um, <laughs> the pill that I'm about to take could potentially change the trajectory of my health. Monitoring those a little bit closer than the protocol is, but um, he said that for a lot of people within 72 hours, they actually start feeling better, like an improvement. What? I can't even. <laughs> so, Sweet. what in the world? It's Am I gonna feel better? It's a possibility. And uh, it's crazy. Okay, here it goes. I don't even know how to feel. I mean, I don't feel anything. I just took the pill. And one of the reasons why we wanted to make this video is because the fries also have huge news. Well, it was announced a couple of months ago, and we've actually kind of been hiding this from you guys because we didn't know what was going on, mm -hmm. and we were kind of being careful about this, that... Not only is Mary's health, she hasn't been on IV antibiotics in years, not in years, and usually it was like in every like two to five weeks thing. Yeah, in and out of the hospital constantly. Because different lungs uh, grow different bacteria, and they need to be on antibiotics, but Mary hasn't been on IV antibiotics in years. No. And so we would like to say... <sighs> a couple weeks ago, the Fry Life announced that they were going to be adopting a child represents has opened one other door. <laughs> We're adopting a baby! And on the 28th of October, the call came in. <laughs> and next month, they become parents. I can say the words like, we got the call last night. We got a call last night. And on the call, she said, they chose you. So, Fries, from the gallus to the Fries, congratulations. We are so proud of you and happy for you. And you guys deserve this. And you deserve to be happy. And whatever the future holds, we know that you will take care of this child and this child's life is going to be better because of you. It's so great and we decided to do this because I'm not going to say her name but there's another YouTuber who made a video saying that the Fries, the Fry Life, should not adopt a child and I'm not, I don't, I don't want you to go look her up. I don't want you to go to her YouTube channel or watch her video. Uh, so I'm not going to say who it is. Because you'll be giving her the views. Mm -hmm. But Ray and I watched part of it and we were just horrified by it. Because this woman sounded bitter and angry that she didn't have a stable relationship where she could go. 
and invite a child into. And don't do that to YouTubers. If you don't like a YouTuber, just ignore them. There are YouTubers we don't like, and we don't really talk about them on this channel. Now, Mary and Peter Fry have known each other their entire lives, and they've been married for quite some time. And there's a lot of really cute little stories on their channel about the history of their life and when they added their, I'm gonna cry, when they added their hairless cat, Harry. Oh, yeah. I love Harry. That was Harry. so beautiful. Um, just watching Mary change, watching the change that has come. And you guys, miracles do happen. And um, they have a retired service dog by the name of Oliver. He's a poodle. And, oh man, I wish we have a, the, they had a special edition uh, stuffed Ollie. They always have one for Christmas. Yeah, and we actually bought show. one. I, it's around here somewhere. Emma kind of carries around places, and so does our little girl cat. But uh, we just lost our Labradoodle, and watching... The Fry Life really makes me miss Buzz, and it makes me feel close to Buzz again, too. Just seeing that classic poodle look on his face. <laughs> they all kind of got that same look in their eyes. Just, you know, as, as, as hard as everything was for them, we are beyond happy. And this is the kind of thing that what YouTube was made for. And it might seem weird that we really love their channel and we adore them, the two of them. All well, four of them, I guess, the whole family. Because Peter is a, a preacher. Yes, he's not currently preaching other than part-time. Yeah. He, Full-time he was preaching when they lived in uh, Massachusetts. And we're not religious. We are very spiritual. But we're, we're not religious, per se. But I, I like their message. And people who are chronically sick, we have to stick together. They have a store with their shirts on it that say things like, laugh every day. I choose joy. Mm -hmm. Do what you think you can't do. You guys have heard us say that many times. It's theirs. It comes from them. And they really have a message of hope and of faith. And these are all very important things to remember. And even if you aren't chronically sick and you just have a mental health illness, which I would still consider you chronically sick, I guess. They, their channel helps with that. And they're doing a lot of good. They have reached up and they have pulled us. And sometimes they even respond to you. Yeah. They're really nice people. They're so sweet. <laughs> oh, no, cry. And We don't deserve your kindness. <laughs> no. But they, are, they belong to everyone. Nobody say that, oh, my God, I cannot stop crying. Nobody say that they own the fry life because nobody does. You know, their their channel has helped us get through a lot of rough times and dark moments. Mm -hmm. And being that we're, we're, we're very open about our PTSD and or whatever you call it nowadays and our mental health. And their mantras have helped rewire my brain yes. to handle the world and also how to approach my daughter who is very disabled and approach her care and yeah. Fry Life talks a lot about paperwork and dealing with insurance and that's one of the worst parts of disability because they don't make it easy for you and no. doctors and nurses can be extremely frustrating <laughs> but this it's so funny to think that sitting all those two and a half or whatever year however many years ago it's been that day changed everything because one person can't make a difference and they look so happy. I guess we need to thank Vertex, don't we? Yeah. And the CDC. And anyone who helped make Vertex possible, later becoming Tricapta. I love that people type it and they say Trifecta. That's really <laughs> funny. It's Tricapta. I remember shortly before Tricapta came out, I was in the bathroom scooping the litter box. And I was ranting at you about why can't they do anything more for CF? We're curing cancer. Why are my deaths? CF is still a death sentence. That's not fair. Yeah. And then within a month or so, yeah. boom, I was like, yes. This is just so amazing, and we're so happy. And you don't have to share anything with us, and yet they just share everything with us. They overshare because, you know, oversharing is gross. I don't need to know, you know, um... <laughs> What you were wearing when you received your announcement. <laughs> that they did share that, and it was very funny. We love you guys. We absolutely adore you, too. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Made us laugh. 
Um, and I remember when they announced they were adopting and I started crying. We were laying on the floor, we were sitting on the floor making posters for rallies online. Yeah. And this is the type of thing that I never expected from these guys. Now, Mary has a sister who also has CF by the name of Rachel. And Rachel also has an adopted son. Now, they have to adopt because Mary, if she had a child, that baby probably would also have cystic fibrosis. And I understand why they don't want to bring another child into the world knowing that they would have that. I, I understand it because it is a very devastating illness and it still is even with Trikapta. It's still very terrifying. And they can give a great home to people, to a person who needs it. And that's wonderful. Oh, I think they'll be great parents. They'll be really good at it. I really do think that. Mm -hmm. And don't even talk and think about the things that could go wrong. Just let's support them one day at a time. Be happy for them. And let's not worry about the future right now. Live, let's live for now. And, you know, they have a lot of people on their, on their comments who are very toxic. Yes. Who say things they shouldn't say. Mm -hmm. So let's all go over to their YouTube channel and congratulate them and leave them a positive note and tell them that the Gala sister sent you mm -hmm. because they deserve it. They deserve the world. And then some, I mean, and you know, there's other things too, like watching Mary drive home when Peter got sick. Mary couldn't do that because she couldn't stack coffee long enough to be able to drive or she couldn't get her blood sugar up long enough to be able to drive. Yeah. But she drove all the way from... Maryland to Durham. That's a long drive. It is a long drive. And watching her change and just watching her become something that was only a dream. Something that we only all dreamed about for them. Yeah. And I can't remember when I last checked to see if she was still alive. I can't even remember anymore. But even while it wasn't looking good for her. They still got up every day and made a daily vlog yeah. and encouraged all of us to keep going. And you guys wonder who we draw strength from while they're sure. I'm really impressed by how sweet Peter is to Mary too. Oh my God. And now it's almost like the roles have reversed where she is taking care of him with some of his battles that I won't even go into, but it's, they're, they're very sweet. They're the type of people who, like, are everyone's parents. And they may be younger than us, but I think that we've learned, I've learned more from them than I have from almost anyone. And you know, a lot of people would refuse to go into a relationship with someone who what, had a terminal illness. And Peter is one of those people who, he doesn't care about that. No. Because he has more love to share, and that's what makes him amazing. And a lot of couples, when someone in the relationship even gets a new diagnosis, cancer diagnosis or something, the other person will leave but he start treating in. them differently. But he went into this knowing that. And some of their stories about how they were together when they went to Moody Blues in Chicago, how they were together and all these years that they knew each other and how they met when they were children. And it's just so sweet. And it's one of those experiences that I wouldn't trade for the world. Yeah. And Fry Life, thank you so much for allowing us to come into your life. Now we welcome you into ours. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see a different um, spotlight. And also, this wouldn't be the right video unless we told Peter Happy Caregiver Awareness Month yes. as well. Happy Caregiver Awareness Month. Family Caregiver Awareness Month. Yeah. Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> this is a video that we knew we'd eventually have to make something with them in it. Mm -hmm. because just perfect and it's one of those experiences that's a once in a lifetime experience and it's something that I never once questioned what happened to Andrew because I use the find joy in the sadness I knew that it was just going to be okay yeah and even I mean, if it isn't okay and it doesn't look like it's going to be okay you, you still have to laugh every day don't don't get so bogged down and just understand that there's a glimpse into one of the most important YouTubers ever. Yeah, so we know Amy Lee Fisher is important. But Amy Lee Fisher also used to wear Fry Life gear. Remember she that? Did. She did. 
Yeah. So guys, down below, we are going to link Mary and Peter's channel. We'll also link their store. Go to their store and buy something and show them their love and support. Um, and we're also going to link a couple of CFers, uh, um vlogs down below, including what limited to Claire's. Because yeah. Claire is kind of the mother of this whole movement. And mm -hmm. while she's not here, I hope she's happy somewhere. We didn't really talk about what the what CF is. We didn't go into super details today. And if you want to know, we can make another video about oh, it. Yeah. But these other YouTubers that have CF, they have done it in a lot of YouTube videos. So yes, you we'll can go watch theirs. Four down below, yeah. three of which are still alive, one of which is So you can go watch their channels and learn about it. Like you went through, I saw the clip when she first took Trek after. Yeah. That was amazing. And I am just so floored and so amazed. And mm -hmm. The things that you take for granted every day, don't do that anymore. No. So, guys, obviously we are going to end the video here because, you know, there's only one thing left to say. Congratulations. Congratulations. So, if you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't like this video or don't like the Fry Life, Maybe don't click on the thumbs down button, but guess what? It doesn't show up anymore. Ha, 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 ha. I got you. Smash that subscribe button down below. Guys, can we get this channel to 900 subscribers? Our channel's hopping again. I don't know what's happening. Miracles, probably. Probably miracles. The winds of change are here. Watch the video at the end. Go ahead and watch it, please. When we're done... Go ahead and give that bell a big ring by clicking all so you don't miss any of our videos that we put out. Generally, we put out videos every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. However, we are going to be doing Vlogmas, which is a vlog a day for their 24 or 25 days. We don't know exactly how we're going to be doing Vlogmas this year because every channel does it differently. Want to hear from us every single Tuesday? Good news, now you can because we have a podcast entitled Kevin with the Gala Sisters available on all major podcast platforms. And also come follow us on Twitter at the Gala Sisters, Instagram at the Gala Fam, Facebook at the Gala Sisters, and we have Facebook groups. If you'd like to join them, then email us at thegalafam at gmail.com. We also have a website at www.thegalasisters.com where you can check out articles that we've written. And like the Fry Life, we also have some merch. This is very, 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 very common for YouTubers to have their own merch. It is our bread and butter. It is a great way to support the channel. So go ahead and buy some of that if you'd like. And make sure that you share this video and get the word out and join us in celebrating something good and thinking about something awesome and being positive. And thank you so much for watching. We will talk to you again in the next one. Bye! Bye.